one. Hello! I can finally realign the thingies properly. Isn't mm -hmm. that exciting, guys? It is. Now I can't, like, you know, take my shirt off or whatever. What I want to do, I have to be, like, in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're, like, farting and stuff, just, like, letting it rip. <laughs> Anyhow, we are back sense. with the third part of Valley of Ends. For some reason, I'm having a hard time memorizing that name, but whatever. It's probably because I didn't make it. Anyhow, we just dispatched a bunch of what we think bandits. are bandits in the middle of a forest traveling to what's that place called? Undersin. Undersin. There we go. Alright. Um, let's search their bodies. Let's see if they have anything on them. Um. Yeah. Um, you searched one of them, right? Yeah, I, I searched did. one, but I kind of... Um... I kind of had some dirt in my eye or something. It didn't really work out. So I'll just search this archer. Can you guys move real quick? Everybody move. Yeah, I'm gonna move over to the last lady that I just killed, and I'm gonna check her body. Hold on, I'm lagging, guys. Oh, I see why. Oh, well, maybe it's because your camera's open on uh, Roll20 and you're on Skype, so it's probably... Yep. Yeah, you can... Um... You can turn that off in Roll20. Yeah, you... That's yeah. probably your whole problem, actually, why that's not working with Skype whenever we do it. Mm. That is why, because mine never works when, I have, when I'm using it for streaming or something like that. Yeah, I wasn't... I have that marked in my settings. I think... All right, well, hopefully that fixed it, and if not, yeah, whatever. We can see you. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's moving for now. Okay, so I totally missed what you guys were saying because I was, like, lagging out. I want to loot the archer I killed. Okay, so which one is that? That one right there? Yeah, I'm zoomed in for some reason, crazily. All right, yeah, that right one here. has, like, on her person, a uh, piece of gold. Just... Oh. Like one, literally one piece of gold. Um, she has some decent leather armor on, but her bow looks kind of shitty. And her arrows look like handmade arrows, not like a professional made them. Uh, does she have leather gloves? Um, no, she doesn't <laughs> she, have leather she gloves. She really likes leather gloves. I don't think you understand. <laughs> no, she doesn't have any because she was a, she's a, she's an archer, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll I'll uh, I'll take the leather armor. It's, it shouldn't be too heavy. No, it's not. Um, it is bloodstained though, and this one's actually burnt to a crisp. Alright, then I won't take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll go next. I'll check my uh, person and see what they have on them. Pat them down, real good. Okay, same thing. Um, you know, it's kind of shitty leather armor. Uh, but it is leather armor, as opposed to what you're wearing, which is nothing. Um, and same thing, just like a, a kind of hand-me-down bow and some crappy arrows. And she has two gold on her. Okay, I'm going to take the two gold and pocket it. Uh, just throw it in my pocket, and then I'll uh, grab the leather armor off her. Okay, alright. That one's also fried, though, because you fried both of them. Okay, and I'll just walk back over to the caravan with the leather armor and just kind of toss it in the back. Okay. Um, what have you guys been doing while they were checking and getting this loot? Well, she's unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean, hanging out. Hanging Pixie's out with Pixie. Uncle. I guess I was grueling. Okay. <laughs> grueling. <laughs> I'm, gonna, um, I'm actually going to take my, uh, my alcohol back. <laughs> Aww. You that can have as much as you want, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I check? It. Can I check the wagon and see if anything is missing? No, nothing's missing. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. So uh, I actually go um, go around and check around if there's anyone else. Like. Okay. In total. Yeah, I'm gonna fine. I'm gonna head over to uh, Pixie and. See how she's doing. Okay. Um, Pixie's not doing that great. 
um, you know, she's unconscious, uh, has an arrow stuck in her leg. Uh, it lo- doesn't look like it's bleeding, but it does look like it hurts. She also has a gas across, like, her stomach and, like, her chest and shit. Like, she's in pretty bad shape. Okay. I uh, I look around moving, like as soon as possible. Yeah, I look around everyone and I say, uh, guys, we need to get her to the closest town. Um, I think so we should, we should all pile in. Yeah. So does everyone pile? All right. So I'm gonna be riding. Um, I'm gonna be re- uh, driving. Um, and I then... need to sit in the front. I can't lie down because there's an arrow in my back. So. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to want to see if we can pull that out of here? Get that. Uh, I, I don't know if any of you are uh, are skilled with medicine, but um, I, probably a good idea to wait until we get into town and see if we can like find a doctor or something. Uh, we were a day out. <laughs> All right. Let's just. <laughs> you gonna let that... Well, it's not. I mean, am I ble- am I bleeding? Like, cause we're we're leaving next night. Right? Uh, no, your arrow's not really bleeding. It doesn't seem like anything it's crazy. It's just there right now. Yeah, you guys also noticed that none of the arrows had, like, uh, metal arrowheads. Like, they were just, like, burnt. Uh, there's, there's a process where you, you slowly burn the wood. Not burn it, but you slowly heat it up, and the, it actually hardens the wood, so that they were, they were hardened in that fashion. Okay. Can, can someone check mine and see if it, it's pretty deep or what? Sure. Um, I go to the back and I look at the arrow and I just immediately grab it and I pull it out. Oh, hey, and, whoa! And I say, man the hell up. Okay. That's why <laughs> right. I'm like dying, I'm assuming. You, you take <laughs> one damage, but yeah, it, just, like, it hurts. You almost faint, but it's it's fine. Like You just weren't expecting it and like it you know you like you almost you fall to like a knee and you're like oh god. That's the last time but, I asked him for help. Yeah, but you only you only took one damage, so whatever. Uh, Grin and bear it, my friend. Grin and bear it. Yeah. Grin and bear your horse is dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, let's hold get on. in this caravan and get the uh, get the hell out of get the hell out of here. All right, hold on, cause um, is that someone saying? needs to? Can someone hold dress up. my wound, Gliss? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to dress it with. Um, <laughs> well, I'll, we have alcohol. Around, in bag, right? You get five gold, and you manage to. There's I get five only gold? one. Yeah, Xenia gets five gold because she went around looting. Um, there is only one... Um, uh, did I get the, the two gold that I pocketed? Yeah, I yeah you did. Okay. You can mark that. Uh, you get three gold, and you find that the person that has his head chopped off by um, Hitsin Mitsurui style, um, <laughs> like he has his armor is like in good shape because he just got a head chopped. Like it's what bloody kind of armor? And disgusting. It's also leather armor. I'll take it. Like, all these guys were in leather, but of all of them, that's the best set. Like, it's not damaged and, like, shit like that. Well, I mean, like, is it the best out of what they had, or is it, like, yeah. really good? No, it's the best out of what they had. Do What, on, like, a regular range, how good is that? What do you mean? Like, it's just, like, decent. It would okay, give you yeah, I'm not two. taking it, then. All right. Okay. And he also take has a look the, at it? Uh, you were ready to go, so you... Okay. Like you guys already were like, let's go, let's go. So what else? And then he has like a short sword. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. You guys ready to go? I return yeah. and start walking. Um, actually, do you uh, instead of walking, do you want to get on uh, top, on top of the caravan, on top of the back, so you don't have to? I can just haul ass to town. Like I can you just. Kind of I don't, to be in a hurry. I don't do moving things can you run i can okay how far uh how long do you think you can run for well he still hasn't slept but yeah well depend on my role <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, can... you're exhausted at this point like your eyes are drooping like your mannerisms are just really slow like you're exhausted maybe we should stay here for the night and mend the wounds That'd be that'd be nice. But we we really don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of medical experience and nor supplies to treat those wounds. So uh, just hop on, dude. I'll haul. Just get back to town. I don't think she wants to. I'll run. 
all right. <laughs> and I just go, yeah. <laughs> I grab the horses and they, they shoot off. All right, so you're running after them? Yes. Okay, go ahead and make two rolls for me. What kind of rolls? Just make the rolls. They have to be determined. Just two d20s? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Go ahead, two d20s. See what we got here. Okay. As you're running, you're on your face. You run for like two hours before you collapse. Uh, whoever's typing, it's. I bet. I can't <laughs> hear <awesome>. anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? You go down. Like, you fall. After two hours? After like two hours, you're running and then you fall. You're like I'm actually able to keep up with the caravan. And then uh, you fall, and you do so very loudly, and you're like, oh, and you start, like, rolling and shit. The caravan, the people on the caravan notice that you're, like, you fell. Mm -hmm. So um, you guys notice that she fell. She's, doing, she's like, life alert status, where, I, like, I, she's fine and she can't get up. I attempt, no, I attempt, I attempt to get up. <laughs> Make another roll for me. Uh, just a d20? Yeah. <laughs> it's like life alert status. <laughs> <laughs> All senior citizens Close. should have life alert. <laughs> uh, Twenty. You can't get up. Motherfucker. Okay, so I pull the rain saw off, and um, I immediately hop off, and I go. Go wrong. And, and I and I uh, put out my hand, and I go, listen. Let's just settle this. Do I'll I pass my out? Yankel, do I pass out? Uh, you're still conscious. Well, if I can get a, if I can get up, then whatever. No, you're still conscious, but you can't get up. So I'm just holding my hand out. I attempt to get up using his hand. Oh, okay. using his hand? Yeah. All right, make a roll for me. That's a love roll. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Okay, you managed you are to deeply get in love. with his help. And if you want to take her back to the caravan, she, she's going to have to like lean on you. Okay, so um, whether she whether she likes it or not, I kind of help her wobble over, and I uh, kind of help her up on top of the uh, on top of the cover of the bed for the caravan. Mm -hmm. How exactly are you helping her up on the caravan? Um, well, I assume, um, the, is there a doorway to the, um... No, it's just, like, open. It's just open? But there's, is there a smaller, like, step to get up onto? Nope. Okay. But there's obviously a latch, so I'm gonna take, um, take my hands and boost her. Her first foot is gonna boost on my hands. Second foot... She would... She, if you try to do that, she's gonna fall. Like, you know that she's not strong enough to boost herself up there. Okay, so I'm putting out my hands and I'm analyzing the situation. I'm realizing this isn't gonna fucking work. So I, she's standing there and I, she's still around me, and I look at her and I kind of just turn her body and I push her in. Okay. And you I layer, that. I layer down on top of Pixie because <laughs> 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 there's nothing else I can do. And uh, do I wake up from that just to do a minor action? Uh, oh yeah. God. You, Here we go. Oh, like, oh no! You like touch your arrow and you feel the pain. And you're like, oh shit, it hurts. Uh, I, so I, I start smiling and giggling, and uh, I, I start feeling around. That's all I want to say. I realize that this is life alert status times two, so immediately <laughs> I don't care what the situation is or how comfortable they are. So I just run around and hop back on the reins. All my party members are injured besides me. <laughs> <laughs> all of them are shot by arrows. I'm just like I'm kicking I'm into like badass it. mode, and I just I I mean I did get a glimpse of a dagger in me, but it's, for me it's no big deal. <laughs> um, so yeah, I grab the reins and I just zip them off and I push my horses as hard as I can go. Your horses die. <laughs> um, and keep heading <laughs> to hope to get to uh, Anderson. By the way, my character is having a great time. Yours don't die. <laughs> Yours don't die. You make it to the city. 
uh, as you're like you're like racing into into the city, there's like guards and like a bunch of guards come out, like three, four guards come out. They're like, "Hey, stop, stop! What are you doing?" Is there a gate over there, or like are they? Yeah, just this this under Underson has a gate. Okay. <clears throat> How far away am I from the guards right now who are telling me to stop? It's like they're talking to you, like they're there, like two feet away. Oh, okay, I'm not. I'm not. I want to still be heading in at speed. Is that? Okay. No, they, I mean, if you can try to bowl them over, basically. No, you're I'm doing not that. Gonna, I'm, I'm jumping out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna try to do that. I'm gonna just uh, bring my ho uh, horses to a halt. Okay. And, and they, they ask you, like, what, what are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you trying to, like, why are you racing into town? What's the problem? Uh, we got three people who all got shot by arrows and by bandits. We need medical well, attention on. right now. Hang on. This is seven hours later, right? Yeah. So, can I get out of the wagon? Nope. Why you, not? you fell asleep. I did not fall asleep. Dude, you was, you're going to sleep for a long time. If you <laughs> you, felt, no, I'm you're rolling gonna for this. Hey, you're going to do so. No, I can't. Okay. You're going to die of I Not only that, but I don't think Pixie's going to let you leave. She's having fun. <laughs> I don't really think. Yeah. You fall asleep. I'm holding good on to you. You fell asleep, and you aren't even woken up by all the jingling, jangling, or anything. It feels like a massage to you. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's massaging going on for sure. Okay, and I look back at the guards, and I say, if you don't let me into this city right now, these people are going to die. Okay, they're like, hold on, stay right here. Um, and uh, they, like... You uh, see before, they, before they walk off, um, can I take out a little patch with uh, three pieces of gold in it and just hand it to them and say, let me through? Mm -hmm. bribery He's like, keep, what is keep this your Russian money? bribery shit? Yeah, <laughs> it's like three gold isn't gonna get you far in bribes, but uh, yeah, can, can anyway. I speak? I'm gonna speak up at this point and be like, we we're also we also have a package here. Yeah, just, just hold on, trust me. <laughs> they have a package. <laughs> we like, have a package. We got know. a package. We got, we got a package. The package. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a we have a package for, we have for multiple Saram. packages. <laughs> Saram has been expecting us. Okay, so the guards uh, head off, and then... Uh... No, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, I thought they were... There. They've told you to hold on. Sam Newt. Like, Motherfuckers. Two minutes later, you see like a guy in like a robe come out, and uh, he's got like white gloves on and shit. He's like, oh, you know, take them to my... Take them to, you know, the, the bedrooms, and I'll have a look at them there. Okay, so I assume the city wall gate's open. Well, they were open already. Okay, and we head inside. And yeah, they direct you where to go. Uh, they tell you to leave your stuff, and they they help you bring all the people inside. Um, I, okay, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna stay with the up? caravan. Hold on. Okay, so Sam, you're gonna stay with the caravan. Koyuki, yeah. you're, are you gonna let this guy you know take you in? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up Pixie and carry her on my shoulders and walk walk her over there because I don't think she can walk. <laughs> Do I wake up? No. Dude, it's been like eight hours. Can I try to wake him up? <laughs> it's been like eight hours, man. You don't understand. Even if I stayed up, if I stayed up three hours, three days after eight hours, I would have at least been able to get up. When I've been up, like you would have been hours, able to get I up, but like you might have two hours, then wake up and be up like. Yeah, there's been racket all around yeah. me, man. Alright, so That's how I do explain it. to you the difference between what you guys do over a 24-hour period, <laughs> which is lay in bed like you're doing right now, not moving an inch, besides yeah, like your hands. We, we fought and a lot. and Continuously walking for 72 hours. I'm also, and not then, a, I'm also not a rogue. And then fighting, and then running at like top speed for another two hours. Yeah, but I would right? have, after eight hours, I would have at least have been able to get up. <laughs> Listen, you remember that day that I told you I worked 22 hours? Yeah. Okay, I worked 22 hours, and the next day I woke up after 8 hours, and I couldn't even stand. Okay? Uh, you, did, you did three <laughs> times that. <laughs> three <laughs> times that. Okay? And you're telling me that after 8 hours you're going to be okay to get up and do whatever the fuck All right, you know what? I'm going to do it one of these days, and I'm just going to... Do it. it do it. <laughs> All right. So... Have him roll a constitution or something. Yeah, I think this you should, should be a roll. You've already rolled a three. No, oh, that, that, was, that, was, uh, that, was when, uh, that was eight hours ago, man. No, that wasn't eight hours ago. That was 
uh, right now to see if, like, when we were talking to the guards. He should take at least, like, non-lethal damage or something for <laughs> trying. <laughs> he's <laughs> unconscious. Like, he's done for, like, another four hours at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyways, you're taken in, you're put it placed into beds, all three of you, um, and, you know, the guy goes to work, brings, like, potuses to put into your wounds, um, you see, like, you know, Wait, three sorry, guys I'm... come in. Uh, Koyuki, you're over here observing all this. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Sam. Um, you said how long was he working on these, on these guys? He's, he's working on these guys for, like, two hours. Oh, he's sorry, I thought you said two days. I got, I... No. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So first, he he like he he treats you because he realizes the other bitch is stabilized. Puts like some stuff on you. Puts a patch on you. Um, then he moves over to um, uh, to Pixie. Um, you know, people are talking for a little bit. Then um, you know, the arrow is removed. And then like this, there's a suture made. They stick shit in the wound. They cover it. Patch it. And then, um, and then after like two hours, they wake up um, Xenia, and like they give her a lot of water and food, and like make sure that she's well dressed. Uh, did I wake up during the treatment? No. Oh, tell me what I wake up at least. So yeah. You wake up after like two hours, I guess. Anyways, so this guy's doing this stuff, and then he comes out to you, Sam, and he's like, well, your friends are in pretty stable condition. I've managed to uh, help all of them. I mean, only one was really in critical condition, but, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. You can, um, you said that you were fighting bandits. Is that, is that true? What happened? Yeah, unfortunately, we ran into a, a little scraping on the way, um, but, yeah, we seem to, <laughs> we seem to made it through by the uh, skin of our teeth. Then you hear from the room, give me booze, booze, I need some alcohol, ah, <laughs> um, ah. And I look back at this, uh, this man and I go, oh, sir, I didn't, uh, I didn't catch your name. Oh, uh, well, he says, you know, like, oh, well, my name is Robin. Frank. Robin. <laughs> Bill. Me too. <laughs> well, Robin, thank you. I appreciate your uh, you taking care of my friends. Is please, is there anything I can do to you, do for you to uh, help you out, or is there anything I can repay you with? Well, he starts unzipping his like trousers. And <laughs> 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 uh, he says, uh, "If this was caused by the bandits, then um, don't worry. It's on the house. <clears throat> I've already been paid to you know treat anybody that's been wounded by the bandits. So by the by the city. So well, I look at it." Rough. I look at him, I, I say thank you, and then I turn back to my caravan, and I should go, oh, you should probably get that whole bandit problem fixed, you know. It kind of sucked. Yeah, we're working on it, don't <laughs> worry. We're working on it. Am I, okay. am I up at this point? I'm, uh, like, yeah. watching I mean, this. You were up the whole time. You were just Was like, I watching that conversation? Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can go outside with him. I'm able to get up, I'm not, like, that he doesn't want me to, like, stay there or anything. You can do whatever you want. It was just, like, it wasn't a big deal for you. Okay, uh, I'm going to get up, and I'm going to go to the doctor and give him, like, ten gold. Be like, thank you, I appreciate it. And then walk out, walk out with uh, Isildur. All right, he bows his head and, you know, says, any tips are appreciated, thank you much, thank you so much. Um, and then he walks off. Okay. All right, at this point, um, both Pixie and Xenia wake up. Ah, uh, I, I immediately, like... Uh, feel uh, for my body and like, do it hurt at all? Uh, yeah, your leg is definitely in a lot of pain. Um, uh, everything and else I feels... immediately start yelling, booze, booze, give me some alcohol. Ah, well, you actually have help. you actually have a pretty big headache as well. Yeah, all the more reason then to drink alcohol. Then, <laughs> then I very much need it. Uh, as soon as I wake up, I'm like, I wait, and I quickly raise my hand take a look at it and I get up quickly and put out my cloak mm -hmm. and my okay. hood and I head out well you like that wasn't taken off like your hood was down but your cloak was oh down. I was in bed and cloak yeah like I just put you in the bed like you didn't have any wounds so alright sure yeah then I just put my hood up and I just out. okay 
Uh, you're like your feet are in a lot of pain. A I'm, lot. I'm going. I'm going out, and I'm looking for a tavern. Mm, okay. Uh, I well, will take as you come my, out. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. As you come out, uh, Isildur and Kayuki are like outside. Hi yeah. guys, <laughs> how you feeling? <laughs> uh, he's by himself. Uh, Pixie okay. didn't leave. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get okay. some rest. Where are you? Uh, where are you heading off to? I'm gonna get a room at a tavern. All right, sounds like a pretty good idea. Mind if I join you? Sure. I'm right. Okay. I think right. I'm actually gonna try to find the merchants guild for this town because I think that's where we have to go, right? Actually, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna ask the barkeep. We're looking for uh, Sundaram, I believe his name was. Pixie, uh, what are you doing? So, so uh, I would there remove you. my armor and then try to sleep. In the same bed? Like, you're just going to stay there? Yeah. Is okay. there uh, some covers? Or yeah, do I have to covers. just lay there naked? <laughs> uh, you, there's covers. You can. Okay, cool. Okay. So I will just chill. Not to mention, try, when, when you sleep, to get you wrap your... You wrap your wings like around you. So it's like a natural blanket. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Nice, cool. Plus, yeah. you're a nice dragon. He's not a, I'm nice a white dragon. dragon. I, I look like well, an angel. Dra sorry. Yeah. I look like a fucking angel. Uh, you think guys think should be jelly. Anyways, okay, so you guys go to like the closest um, tavern. Mm -hmm. Okay, the barkeep is there. I mean, you want to ask him anything? Okay, uh, I walk up and uh, I go, who's with me right now? I go, four drinks for me and my lads. Or three drinks. Three. Right, right. I'm not did, you, did you already like subtract the ten gold from your gold count? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. And you're ordering the drinks? Yeah, for everybody. For all my guys. Oh, okay. Sam's ordering the drinks. Okay. Uh, he says that'll be 40 uh, silver. 40, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting wine. Yeah, I'm, you can hold mine. I don't want anything. So this is it still forty. Yeah, it's still forty. Okay. Um, and then I look at the uh, barkeep and I go, "You know where we can find a man named by go goes by the name of Sundrum, a Sunram, Saram, 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 like Saran Ram, but with an M." <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know where we can find Saran? Rap. No, no, Ram. call him just Saram. Ah, uh, shit. Hold on. I don't remember where the fuck Saram I Saram the Rapper? Saram the Rapper? It's like Ja Rule. <laughs> Hold on. I don't remember where I wrote down all this shit. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to restart, because I had everything done. Let's see. No fucking clue. Uh, uh, Retro. Well, we can just end for today. I mean, we've been playing for a yeah, long we can, time. Yeah, we can leave this right here. Hello. Do you guys want? No. Right. Tired? We're, we're gonna go. We aren't even at four hours yet. Yeah. Yeah, we Listen, are. Zenia just ran for seventy-two hours straight. You can D and D. <laughs> you, you can D and D. Like, no, I have no problem with it. Like, if you need to. I just need to like. I don't remember where I wrote this shit. Sun RPG prototype. Tell Maros. Uh, fuck. Maybe I didn't save it or something? Alright, don't worry about it. So... Okay, so what was the guy's name? It was... Saram. Saram. Saram? Saram? Yeah. Alright, so, um... Are you, what are you asking the barkeep? Where we can find him. Okay, yes. he says, oh, you're looking for a Saram. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody knows where he lives. Uh, you, you know, he gives you basic directions. He lives, like, towards the center of the city. Okay, how big is the city? Like, uh, what's the general population? <sighs> I a lot. A number. It's, been million. it's got, it's got a uh, wall, and it's got a gate, and it's got guards. Like, it's a pretty big city. It's like 10,000. I don't know. I, mean, I have no idea what number to throw at you. Okay. Um, it's probably not something I would know anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so do you guys want to go find him? I, I do want to spend some time in the, uh, in the, in the market because I wanted to try to stock up my, uh, my trader's cart. Now. 
see if I can get that out. Yeah, we could definitely use some supplies. We were kind of like not ready for that at all. <laughs> yeah, what kind of day? What time of day is it right now? Um, let's see. It's it's like noon. Okay. It's noon. Okay, mm-hmm. so people are probably around there right now. Um, can we make our way to? Is there some sort of market district?